Good evening, everyone. I want to extend a special thank you to our friend Elton for inviting me to speak with you tonight. Though I do wish I could be there with you at Woodside, it's an honor to introduce the film you're about to see and to share my thoughts about a topic so close to our hearts. Let me set the stage. The world has made huge progress against HIV. Life-saving prevention and treatment options are now available. And global funding has helped expand access to these tools to a degree that was just unimaginable years ago. Yet, despite this progress, for many people in the hardest hit parts of the world, the epidemic is far from over. And this is especially true for young people. Every year, there are a quarter million new infections among 10 to 19 year olds worldwide. And there's another figure that really hits home for me. Two thirds of those are women and girls. In Sub-Saharan Africa, young women and girls are twice as likely to be living with HIV AIDS as boys and men of the same age. At a time when we're seeing so many positive changes to tackle gender inequity, these figures remind us we do still have work to do. But too often, life circumstances determine women and girls' choices before they even have a chance. We're partnering on a number of solutions and investing in new ideas to meet women's needs. And we're proud to stand with others, including all of you who are answering the call. The film you're about to see illustrates the kind of innovative work the Elton John AIDS Foundation is doing to address the HIV burden amongst adolescents. This is a beautiful story from Zimbabwe. The message, however, is universal. Empowerment is a powerful antidote to inequity. Thank you again for this opportunity. I wish you all a wonderful evening of learning and discussion. Growing up, I used to see HIV as just something that was being talked about on TV. People saying things like, if you are HIV positive, you'll die. But when I realized I was also HIV positive too, I got to understand this is part of me. This is who I am and um, I have to accept what's there in front of me. Please feel free, feel very comfortable. We'll be going to see how uh, we, some of the projects that we do at Strandiri. The Elton John AIDS Foundation has been around for over 20 years, and we work in about 30 countries around the world. On this particular visit, we've focused on a group that has been getting left behind. Oh, they're beautiful, thank you. And that is adolescents who are HIV positive. A lot of like making flowers, so it's a tree of life. It's beautiful, well done. AIDS is now the second most common cause of death among adolescents globally. And every hour, 30 young people are infected with HIV. Hi. I'm Elizabeth. I'm David. How are you? What we've been doing through the Shindiri organization is really a whole peer group support program where people feel that they're surrounded by other people who are like themselves. My name is Tsunashima Bega. I'm 19. They don't feel isolated. They don't feel like they're alone. I'm Tali Rumbai and I'm 24. Shandiri, it started with six young people with HIV who came and said we really need a place where we can come together and share our experiences and learn how to live with HIV. Uh, we asked the children what they wanted to call it and they gave it a Shona name, Shandiri, which means in Shona as I am. So they wanted to say I may be HIV positive but accept me as I am. I thought I was the only one who was living with HIV and then when I came here uh, I started having support groups and then I met my husband here at the youth group and we got married and we had a baby, this baby boy, Tawananyashi. We now have the amazing capabilities at our hands to prevent mother-to-child transmission. The babies you see here, they all have tested negative. But there's a whole generation of kids now who weren't able to be beneficiaries of that. I'm really inspired to really see my other peers 
who are now young mothers. They have been through so much challenges and they still continue to move on to see their children grow and to make sure that they are not infected. And I always tell myself that we are here, they are being supported. And what is happening to other children in the rural areas? They are not having this kind of support. After several years, we realised that, that the community support groups alone weren't enough. We then needed outreach services. If we introduce these tablets, ARVs, into your immunity system, if you take them well and on time, these viruses, they will disappear. They will start to, to hide. The outreach team was a doctor, nurse, social worker, and this wonderful group of HIV-positive adolescent counsellors. And they're really now the core of what we do. They work in the clinics, in the communities. They're counselling caregivers and young people. So it's one in the morning, one in the evening. We've made so many wonderful medical advances with HIV in terms of the effectiveness of the antiretrovirals and what they do, and people live long, happy, productive lives where we have huge gains to make still are in the areas of stigma and, and societal rejection of people that live with HIV. Does anyone at school know your status? No. No. Do you talk to any of your friends? No. No. Why, why don't you talk to your friends? Tell us. Because if I tell them, they will tell everyone about me and they started to laugh at me. They will laugh said, you are HIV positive and we can't play with a person who is HIV positive. But is that true? No. No. So you, you talk to friends at Jandiri about your status? Yes. And how does that feel? I feel happy. Yeah? yeah. Is it, it's nice to be able to talk to someone about it. I have a passion. I want to see a change in the world. I want to see people accepting everyone as they are. People understanding that uh, in any condition, anyone can live any normal life. We, we share all the same dreams and aspirations that you do. 16, 17 years ago, nobody would talk about HIV. People didn't know about their status. There were no ARVs, and um, people were dying. And now we live in this amazing world with people like you, who are such beautiful, brilliant role models, and it inspires everybody. So thank you for what you do, and please keep doing it. These teens, these vanguards that are getting supported through the Shindiri program, those people are really brave. Uh, they stare stigma in the face and go out and say, yeah, I'm HIV positive, I'm fine, nothing wrong with me, and I'm getting on with my life and you should too. You know how tough it's been for these kids in their lives, and to see 18, 19 year olds Standing there articulate and proud and well, it's inspiring, it makes sense of what we do, it's a wonderful experience. I wish I could do this every day of my life. It is the most inspirational, life-affirming thing that, that I've ever done. People say, oh, AIDS is over, or haven't they cured that? Well, we haven't. Um, we have a lot more work to do. We can't walk away now. We started this, we have to keep it going.